This is a view looking aft in the aft baggage compartment at the left hand bleed air distribution duct. The two fittings in the video are used to connect the cabin pressurization cart. The lower fitting is used as the main air inlet source and the upper fitting is used to sense the cabin differential pressure during the test. Once these two lines are connected and secure, we'll move to the cabin to remove the interior to gain access to the aft pressure bulkhead where the cabin pressurization controller is located. To gain access to the pressurization controller, you'll need to remove the two aft seats, the aft center console, and the panel on the aft pressure bulkhead. Once access is gained to the pressurization controller, you want to disconnect the PM line, which is located on the most inboard fitting on the pressurization controller. This line will be used to attach to the left hand bleed air distribution duct. Disconnecting this line allows distribution air to close the outflow valves to complete the test. You may want to visit CessnaSupport.com to research the parts list for an adapter that has been used. This is only a recommendation and a local adapter can be made if needed. Once our jumper line is installed, we can move to the cockpit to configure the cockpit per the 510 maintenance manual instructions. After our cabin is prepared for the pressurization check, we'll close the cabin door and secure it to prevent any accidental opening of the door during the cabin pressurization leak check. Slowly increase the cabin pressure until we maintain the max differential pressure for the check. Throughout the test, you may notice that the cabin door may have some extension along the edge. This is normal as the cabin pressure is pushing out on the door. The key here is that the cabin door seal is not leaking. If leaks are noted, additional maintenance will be required on the cabin door seal. This extension is noted typically on the upper and lower aft side of the cabin door. Again, this is normal during the ground pressurization leak check. Once the cabin pressurization leak check is complete, you want to slowly decrease the inflow pressure to reduce the cabin differential pressure to zero. This can take some time as service air is not used to inflate the cabin door seal or close the outflow valves. Once the cabin differential pressure is verified to be at zero, you can remove the safety tape and open the cabin door. At this point, we'll remove the jumper that was located on the aft pressure bulkhead at the pressurization controller for the PM line, and then reinstall the line on the pressurization controller. Once the pressurization controller is reconfigured, we'll reconfigure the cockpit and install the cabin interior. At this point, We'll remove cabin bleed air inlet line and the cabin pressurization sense line and install the caps that were installed prior to the test. This video is intended as a quick reference guide. The 510 maintenance manual is the primary means for all maintenance instructions.